It's Chris. Why won't you believe me? Hey, what's up, everyone? Welcome back to another episode of Nemesique. And uh, for those of you who don't watch my main channel and don't know why I might sound a little different in this episode, obviously I got a little bit of a lisp going. Um, the reason for that is because uh, about two weeks ago I had a seizure uh, right before I was leaving for work. And I actually bit down on the inside of my cheeks and on my tongue a bit. And so um, it was just enough to cause a little bit of damage, nothing major. Luckily, I didn't go through or cut my tongue off or anything like that, thank goodness. Um, but, I, but I did, um, uh, did damage it pretty good uh, for a while there. So I needed to wait uh, to record these videos. Uh, so a lot of these videos are weeks and weeks old. I was I meant to do them before that incident, uh, but unfortunately, I you know didn't have a choice in the matter. So um, thank you guys for being so patient for these videos. And uh, and if you haven't subscribed to my main channel, please feel free. I do everything I'm doing here with Resident Evil with these videos. I do with Venom as well. If you like Venom the character, uh, if you just always want to learn more about him, I have 600 episodes on my other channel uh, all about Venom. Um, so hopefully one day we'll get to 600 Resident Evil videos. We'll see. Um, but uh, but thank you for being patient. I do appreciate it very much. And I appreciate the comments I've been getting recently, too. This channel is, doesn't get a lot of likes and comments. Uh, and it's because I never really had a structure on this channel other than just throwing up uh, game review, uh, game playthroughs and stuff on here. So I'm glad that I'm, I'm kind of focusing a little bit and, and actually making original content on here and uh, also trying to follow the guidelines of Capcom, which uh, may, I might make a video on that coming up, actually, uh, because they have some new guidelines about what you can and can't do or what you should and shouldn't do as far as using their footage and material. So, um, so hopefully we follow those guidelines. I'm not here to upset anybody. But thankfully, all these episodes are on this channel now, which is a non-monetized channel. So that's the main thing is you just you can't really if you break some of the rules, as long as it's not monetized, it's as long as it's free, you should be good. So we'll talk about some of those rules in an upcoming video. But I think I should be OK since this is not a monetized channel. Um, so uh, what I have here today is something I wanted to talk about weeks ago, which was uh, before the wrapping of the film, uh, like a couple days before that before Sony announced officially that the film had wrapped. This piece of information came up on Instagram. Um, I've been following people that work in the makeup department for this movie, and I follow the one of the makeup studios for this movie, which is AAFX Studio, and um, and they have uh, they had announced uh, a couple days before the filming wrapped that they were wrapped. Uh, so zombies, makeup, things like that. A lot of that department left. I'm sure some of the main actors who were still filming still had their makeup people uh, every day. But this group in this studio, they wrapped a few days before uh, the film wrapped. And they put a really nice post up that made me think a lot about the, the conditions that they had to film this movie in. And it was something I had thought about and we talked about on Venom Vlog. But since they wrapped Venom before COVID was a big deal, um, we haven't really covered something quite like this on this channel. So I thought we could discuss it a little bit today. So AAFX Studio uh, posted, that's a wrap on Resident Evil, a tough shoot almost entirely uh, on location during COVID times with an all too short prep timeline and generally about 17 to 18 hour days on set. Uh, but we managed to pull together some cool work. Uh, huge thanks to the entire team who contributed. So I apologize just a second ago. I looked, my dog was in here. I didn't know he made it in the room. I shut the door behind me. I didn't know he made it in. So that kind of scared me a little bit. Uh, my dog is not a, a Resident Evil zombie dog. He's not a Cerberus. Uh, he's just hanging out with me. So uh, so yeah, Echo, are you good? Everything good? All right, he's good. Um, so, uh, and I'll put a picture of him right there. So some of you are like, hey, where's the doggy cam? I know I see that with a lot of YouTubers. Um, maybe one day Echo will get a doggy cam at some point. This is Echo. Say hi, Echo. Ah, bah, 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 bah. Say hi. All right, all right. He's mad at me. I'm going to let him out. Um, so they also put a huge thanks to the entire team who contributed to these days. Um, and they put a list. So I'll put that up there so you can see a lot of those names. And I'll kind of talk over that. And they said, sorry we've, if we miss anyone. Um, also, many thanks to the makeup department who we often worked hand in hand with. Uh, which, again, like I said, each actor may have their own makeup person. Um, but then they'll have to come in and put, like, different things on them. Scars, you know, things like that. Blood on their clothes or something. So a lot of times you have those departments do have to cross over and work together. So um, this was just neat. But the, one, the parts I want to focus on here 
And while I'm talking, I'll, uh, I'll, I'll flash over some images that uh, pop up as well from, from, because I went to a lot of these people that are tagged. I went to their pages and started following them just so, you know, I could see more of their work. Hopefully they work on other things in the future um, that, you know, that I might be into. So, you know, never, you never say never. So I follow everyone. You never burn bridges, they say. So, um, so I want to make sure I, I follow all these people to see where their hard work goes next. And I want to become a fan of their work, especially if I love this movie. So they say happy holidays, everyone. That's a wrap. Uh, you know, um, prosthetic makeup, hashtag zombies, hashtag uh, SPFX makeup. So uh, so they also show that image. If I haven't already showed it, I'll show it again. This is the image they put up there. This is definitely a, a nod to the very first zombie you've seen in Resident Evil back in Resident Evil 1. It that, that very much is a nod to that. Uh, it's not quite looking over its shoulder, but still the design of it and the face, uh, like where the skin is peeling, looks very similar. So I just thought that was really cool that they actually showed us what could possibly be a look at our first zombie, just from an artistic standpoint, not a an actual person in makeup, but just like that that kind of drawing. So I thought that was cool. So um, so I'll put a link down below to the FX Studio on Instagram, and you can go there and check out their page, and uh, and that has um. You know, that, that'll have this image. When you see that zombie, just click on that image and it'll have all these people that are tagged in it. And you can go check out their pages because some of them actually posted some pictures of them, you know, and their work on Resident Evil. Uh, so one of them, uh, Mark here, he posted this picture uh, that said, that's a wrap on Sudbury. Moving on to the hammer. Uh, so I, I don't know if that means he's going to go work on Thor next <laughs> or something else. I, I have no idea, but I'll keep an eye out on Mark's page and see, uh, you know, what cool thing he might work on uh, next, uh, which is pretty cool. Uh, but yeah, Sudbury is where they filmed the movie. So he kind of Posted without letting people know it was Resident Evil, uh, but it was just like an innocent picture of a couple chairs. So it's not anything that will get anyone, you know, in trouble or anything. Um, so then, yeah, I went and checked out a couple other people's pages like uh, Damon Bishop and saw some of the rubber prosthetics he's done before in the past. Uh, faces for like Jason, I think, and then uh, zombie faces, Iron Man armor, intestines, like all these crazy things. A lot of these people did have uh, uh, private accounts. Uh, so some people I was like, all right, I've sent a request, but... I'm not really expecting to get, uh, you know, approved by by them or anything, uh, but I still sent out requests just in case. Um, but yeah, it was it was neat just to see all these people kind of embracing um, this film shoot and 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 uh, sharing their hard work and uh, and talking about um, you know like how hard this was. So that's what I want to get into here as uh, as some of these other images go up on screen is is that um, the conditions for this movie were tough. Uh, you know, they, they said they had very little prep time. That's sometimes does happen in movies and that sucks when that happens. Cause it's like, Hey, you, we need you up here in like two weeks or a week or sometimes less. And you need to bring as many people as you can start hiring people. This is what we need. Here's the budget. Uh, here's what we need you to do. And, you know, especially during COVID, but you know, a lot of these people are probably out of work and have been for a while and just wanted to do something. So they were like, yes, let's do it. And uh, let's go up here and, and help and put in the best of our abilities and, and work the best we can so that we can show that, um, that you know, we want future jobs. We want to work on future things like this and then work in other movies and things. So I think they assembled when I was going through this group of people, a lot of them I've never heard of before. I was loving uh, the, the stuff that they were posting. I really was. Um, in fact, uh, to even show that they had long days, because they talked about not only short prep time, which is, like I said, can be a problem and, and add a lot of stress to your job, especially during a pandemic, but also to work 16 to 17, maybe even 18 hour days, which I've definitely done that before. I think I worked like a 28 hour day one time, which was essentially two days, obviously, um, with no breaks uh, at all, just 28 hours straight. Um, it was, uh, they paid us like quadruple overtime or something really crazy like that. It was probably illegal to do that actually, <laughs> but uh, but they paid us very well for that you know day of work. It was supposed to just be like a, a two or three day shoot and it turned out to be like a five day shoot. And that was like the last day they were like, we gotta get this done. And we just need it done. And so everyone went into like quadruple overtime or something crazy like that. So um, so I hope these people got paid uh, if they had to go into overtime. I hope they got treated well, despite the fact that they had to work long days in harsh conditions during a pandemic uh, where everyone had to quarantine for two weeks before they went up there. And it just sounds like a nightmare scenario. Um, so maybe that will translate. That energy of nightmarish will translate in a positive way to the movie um, because Resident Evil is literally a nightmare. It's, you know, it's walking into a situation. I always 
uh, d compare Resident Evil to a uh, uh, Predator. Uh, Predator had these um, special forces guys, really top of the line mercenaries, go in to handle a situation that was no problem for them. They just had to take out like insurrectionists and, and people who are kidnapping villagers and things like that and warlords and that's all they had to do. But then this alien from outer space shows up and totally, you know, kills all of them, all but one of them. Uh, so I, I that's why I always like the Resident Evil because it's a special forces team that is investigating these murders that of course they can handle a couple murders. You know, that's that's their job is they have to go and, uh, and, and solve this crime and bring in the perpetrators who may or may not be uh, a cult that are cannibals. And then they show up and it's zombies and it's a virus outbreak and it's something completely that they weren't prepared for. And I really like that about Resident Evil. So, you know, all these people sound like they went through the conditions of the stars team. Yeah, we'll go make a movie, but it's okay. It's 18 hour days. It's uh, it's during COVID and it's during all these, uh, these things. So, uh, you know, I got to give it to this crew. I really want to give a special thanks for them for working so hard during this. And I love this image that AFX uh, uh, studio shared with the donuts. They said some fancy stuff to keep everyone going in our 16 to eight hour filming days. Thank you, Donal uh, Monster. So uh, Donald Monster uh, providing them with some donuts, I guess. Uh, yeah, uh, oh, Donut Monster. So, oh yeah, I can't see the T. I'm sorry, my eyes, like, the lights are bothering me because I you know, still have a concussion. So I, it's hard to read some of these, so forgive me if I make a mistake. So Donut Monster provided them with some cool stuff. And they wrote, um, uh, what happened to 10-hour days? Hashtag uh, shrug. Uh, film life, hashtag need, need sleep. Hashtag zombie apocalypse. <laughs> um, so at least they had a good uh, sense of humor about it. Um, one of them posted, uh, uh, what does it say? It says, uh, day 46 of 45. <laughs> so I guess they, they maybe thought they were going to work for like 45 days or so, and they actually went a day or two past that. Uh, so again, sometimes you get these schedules and it's intense. Um, so, uh, I think someone else here, they, again, just posting just fun stuff on their page, um, about, uh, about, you know, uh, oh, someone, Sweeney Doo Doo, <laughs> she posted, uh, four months ago, someone made the poor decision to give me the most responsibility I've ever had. I can't talk about what I did or what happened, but I can tell you that I didn't sleep, I developed an eye twitch, and essentially dropped off the face of the earth to my friends and family. Despite the late nights and torrential downpours, I laughed every single day, made new friends, and so proud of the work my department put out. Here's a few of the faces that got me through it. A very big thank you to them. So I'm going to post these pictures from Sweeney Doo Doo uh, up on uh, up from her Instagram where she tagged that she did this in Raccoon City. And some people even had masks, uh, COVID masks, like protection masks that said Raccoon City on them with the umbrella logo. Um, and there's this great shot of them but with this wall behind them that says, um, eat the rich. Uh, which is something that I guess uh, some patrons of Raccoon City spray paint on the wall um, during this, uh, this what's happening. So I really do like um, this parallel between an outbreak virus uh, and then also what's happening now uh, in our world. It's, uh, it's an interesting parallel, uh, parallel, and I think it'll add some humanity to this movie, and hopefully they handle that very well and don't just make it like a cheesy thing Although Resident Evil does work really well as a cheesy B-movie, I would like to see them handle at least that aspect with a little bit of respect considering what's going on in the world today with, with uh, the pandemic and stuff. So, yeah, and these other great pictures of her uh, with these people, uh, one with a, a detached arm, which just made me think of Resident Evil 7, because uh, when you play the game, you only see Ethan's hands. And so you see a picture of uh, a, a Sweeney Doo Doo uh, holding the hand there. And, uh, and I also saw a great meme someone posted that said uh, that I think uh, Chad Rook reshared um, here. It says, vaccines are on the way, guys, speaking of the current pandemic. And it has the umbrella logo on the side of the truck. Um, and then also uh, Josephine uh, Makeup giving a shout out to Mac Pro because uh, look at all these things that they used. Uh, Mac Pro provided them with a bunch of makeup for this movie. And they used all of it, it looks like, uh, for the Resident Evil movie. So that's pretty neat. I, you know, I didn't know what kind of products they would use. And it looks like a, a, some, you know, company, this Mac Pro company was like, hey, because I don't know really anything about makeup. So it was just neat to see all these people and, and what their work entailed and what kind of days they put in and how stressful it probably was. But the fact that that girl says, she says, you know, I never had this much responsibility on a movie set before, but I was given it. 
and someone trusted me with it. And yet I still laughed every day. And I worked with some of the best people in the world because they, it was, it's like going through, uh, you know, uh, being in a bunker together, kind of like these people were isolated from everyone. Uh, she said for months, like uh, people don't think about that kind of work going into a movie. They think every set is just fun and it's, it's, it's a dream job. And it is on some level, but it is work on, a, on more levels than the others. And so, uh, so that's why when I see these behind the scene features of movies and they're like, oh, it's so great. Everyone was a friend. Everyone was friendly and all this. It's like, yeah, this is probably true on some level, but can you show some of the hard work? I, I think people need to understand that it's not just magic, that it takes hard work to make that magic. I, I don't know. I personally, I know people want to, uh, you know, keep the movie magic in a bubble and keep it preserved. But for me, there's so much hard work that goes on a movie set that, that you just don't even know. And, uh, and that's why I wanted to make this video to give this group and uh, a, you know, a big shout out and say thank you. Thank you for working so hard on something that most people would roll their eyes at. I mean, Resident Evil is is a horror movie and I know it was recently an action movie starring Mila Jovovich and it kind of you know it accrued a lot of money over the course of the six films and everything. Um, and it is known out in the world of pop culture and, and that kind of stuff. But there are still people that kind of look down their nose at something like Resident Evil and look at how hard all these people worked on it and how much they gave, uh, being away from their families, uh, working 16, 18 hour days, sometimes longer, I'm sure. Um, it's just, it's a sacrifice. And, uh, and I hope that that sacrifice pays off and this movie turns out to be something that us fans really enjoy. Um, and no matter what, whether I like this movie or not, I'm always gonna appreciate the hard work that goes into movies and especially from this crew. And I'm glad I now follow them and follow all of them on Instagram because uh, this was just wonderful to see uh, them share their stories and uh, what they could share without, you know, obviously they can't, can't share everything, obviously. But to give us that kind of glimpse and to see that camaraderie and that teamwork put together is, is more than we could ask for for a Resident Evil movie. So this team, everyone who worked on this, from the actors to the crew to this group here in particular, Thank you all for putting your heart and soul into this project. For uh, people who took a chance on people like Sweeney to hire them for a job they maybe have never done before, but trusting that they can do it, and then them putting together a good team and pulling it together. Like, this is just awesome. It's just the best side of filmmaking that I could see uh, captured in a bunch of Instagram posts. And that's why I wanted to share it with you guys. So um, thank you all for watching this episode. Please let me know down below what you think of any of this. If, you, if you're a makeup artist yourself, some, is this a line of work you're thinking about getting into? Um, or any thoughts about Resident Evil at all? Like, please let me know down below. You know me, I love to have the conversation down below. And if you have, uh, if you know anyone that worked on this movie, um, or if you're one who did work on this movie, thank you. Thank you for your hard work. Uh, I made this video so people will know about it. And hopefully this video will get seen by others so that they can see how much hard work, at least from one department, uh, just one department out of all of the departments that work on movies, this is just one. And look how hard they worked for, for us uh, as Resident Evil fans. Uh, that's amazing. So to all of you, thank you so much. I really appreciate your hard work. And every other department that worked on this film, I know you did just as hard as work as well. And I appreciate your hard work, uh, obviously, as well. So thank you guys for watching this video. I'll have more videos coming up for you very soon. Thanks so much. Uh, make sure you like, subscribe, uh, like, share, subscribe, all that fun stuff, and I'll see you in the future. Peace.